Grant, these fires are actually creating their own weather. I'm just looking at these clouds. Yeah. We were talking about this earlier yeah. this morning. At first glance, you might think that this is the storm right over here in, in Tampa Bay, right? But these Looks are familiar. Called, it does, right? These are called pyrocumulus clouds. And when these fires get so big, pyro, right? Pyro, they, they begin to produce their own weather. Let me show you this, Frank, because this is really fascinating. When you get these really, really large and hot fires, they create these superheated updrafts. And you've heard the term updrafts right. before. Right. right. Yeah. So these updrafts, they, they take all the heat and all the air and they launch it up into the atmosphere and it's cool up in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That creates that mess right there. And there you start seeing those cumulus clouds forming and that's what eventually that hot air, it cools, it condenses, it produces those clouds. And there's been reports of lightning. You mentioned earlier when we were talking about this, these fire tornadoes. Exactly. I and mean, just wild Grant, We talk conditions. about the damage on the ground, but also the 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 lung issues that you're talking about is this blows across well that, the and that's the air quality issue in the eastern half of the united states and so when you get these these superheated updrafts it launches that smoke into the upper levels of the atmosphere the jet stream which has 100 mile prior winds <laughs> it picks up all of that smoke Carries and that's what's been across. carrying it across the country we've seen you know the smoke stay to our north because the jet stream has been to our north but just look at how much of the eastern half of the united states is seeing all of that smoke oh, it Grant. is unreal. this is extreme show and tell